Okay, Allie, now we're gonna actually sew. And you know, you have to put your right sides of your fabric together. And then, you have all, both of your threads hanging out the back here. And see this line right here? With, it says five on it. That's five eighths inch, and that's like a standard seam. So line your edge of your fabric up with that, and then slide it back. And if you have to, you can lift this up to get your fabric fit underneath there, and then let go. But then you're not done yet because Grandma has this sign right here that says press your foot down because she could never remember to do that. Probably because her machine is fancy. So you have to push this pressure foot down, clunk it down. Okay, and now my foot is on that little pressure thingy. And you definitely keep your fingers out of the way. Like, see, you don't have to keep them out of the way. <laughs> Hit the thingy, and you can, you know, see how, I, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I like to hold these a little bit. And I'm going really slow. Okay, go a couple, a couple of three or four stitches, and then to knot it, you hit reverse and back up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to back up past the edge of the fabric and then let go. And it only goes re in reverse while you're holding it, and then goes normal after you let go. And then just guide it, keeping it straight with your line there. And then when you get to the end, or right before you get to the end, stop and hit reverse again. That just knocks it. I didn't actually do that a couple times. And then use your hand over here to lift the needle up to the highest position. This is highest. And then lift your pressure foot up. And then pull it out and pull your threads with it and then snip your thread which I don't know you may have already learned all this but don't. Look at that. You made a scene. Okay.